What's up, Bulls fans? Quick update. Nothing too major, but something that, you know, guys have been asking questions on, so I, we got an update, so I want to give it. Justin Lewis has officially be, been re-signed by the Chicago Bulls on a two-way deal to end the season. Now, as many know, uh, Justin Lewis did tear his ACL in the offseason. His uh, two-year contract was eventually rescinded and removed. We eventually signed Carlick Jones to that two-way contract, and now that Carlick Jones has been converted over to an actual NBA deal, the Chicago Bulls have now signed Justin Lewis to another uh, two-way contract, and this is important for the Bulls for a couple of reasons. It's It's been said, and I've been telling you guys that you know that he's still been in the Chicago Bulls system. The Bulls still are highly invested in Justin Lewis and having them in this, in, in this system and in this franchise and developing that talent. Keep in mind, this is a guy that the Bulls signed on day one right after the draft as an undrafted free agent. That's how highly they looked at this guy. He was actually looked at as being, I think, the second highest undrafted uh, free agent as well as far as on many people's list as far as the best undrafted uh, rookies from that last draft. And so what this allows, it allows the Chicago Bulls to sign and have in their system a 6'7 power forward that while albeit kind of small, has the wingspan that we love, has an upside as a stretch four and maybe even a small ball five in some lineups. Think of uh, of a Jay Crowder, TJ Warren type uh, when you think of that type of thing. He definitely has the that type of ability, but he has more scoring upside. Keep in mind, in his sophomore season with Marquette, he averaged 16.8 points per game, 7.9 rebounds, and 1.7 assists, and he was the Big East most improved player uh, of the year coming into the NBA draft. So, again, not necessarily the, the biggest thing, but we'll, we'll see. He did look, uh, he was in summer league. He did play pretty, pretty well for us in summer league. Didn't have necessarily the eye-popping type uh, summer league performance, but he did have one. And being 6'7", he has some real upside in this team and, and what this team does, he's also, you know, with being a smaller uh, player that can play that four, probably fit into um, a, a Billy Donovan's system. The biggest question here is, is he going to remain on a two-way contract? Does, does he have the opportunity to earn a full contract considering what we may lose in free agency this season? When you look at Javante Green, we'll see what happens with Derrick Jones Jr. if he picks up that player option. Um, you know, what the Bulls need to do just elsewhere, adding size. We need size and shooting on this roster. And, and Justin Lewis is a player that can project to get some of that. Now, we need to see how Lewis is going to come, uh, how he's going to look coming off that ACL injury. But the fact that the Bulls re-signed him says that there's definitely some um, hope there. That they, still look, that they still look at him as a player that has some potential upside for them. And so we'll see. We need to see how he competes against real NBA uh, competition. He's probably going to be in this summer league's competition as well. Probably, I don't know if he's, uh, we haven't gotten a clear timeline. He's probably not going to return to play this season. He's probably going to start off next season in the G League as well. But we're going to get an extended look at him during this offseason. And considering that the Chicago Bulls potentially can walk away from this year not having any picks in this year's draft, adding a young talent like Justin Lewis, being able to look at him and maybe he, shines and, and wows the Chicago Bulls and they can develop that talent is definitely some things some things to look at to see um how they prioritize and plan on keeping him so listen it's good to see him be still here in the Chicago Bulls system as we, I've said before when AK drafts you he's he's invested in your development now, he didn't draft Justin Lewis but he did sign him immediately after the draft and it had the, the Bulls had a second round pick Justin Lewis may have been that second round pick. So I do think that AK in this front office is invested in the development of Justin Lewis. They're going to continue to monitor it. He's going to get every opportunity to shine, earn a spot, at least on that G League team. And then we'll see if that turns into an actual contract for Justin Lewis. Let me know down below. What do you think about the, the Bulls signing Justin Lewis to a two-way contract? What do you still think about the future of Justin Lewis? A lot of people were asking if he was going to eventually get to crack the rotation this season before he went down with ACL injury. We'll see how he's able to play, what he's able to do, and, and see how he responds. And because his, his game wasn't ever be based on being highly athletic, there's reason to hope that he's going to make a return from that ACL injury, even though us as Bulls fans, we have our own PTSD when it comes to ACL injuries. But let's see what this means and turns into for Justin Lewis. Let me know your thoughts down below. That is it. Make sure you follow the show at Bulls Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. BullsCentralPod at gmail.com. And then lastly, you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related because of you guys. And like I liked in every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See you right if you can, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. Media. Media.